If you remember from an earlier chapter, we mentioned that we want to be able to take a sample and look at all the statistics involved in that sample, the descriptive statistics, and then we want to move from there to the population. And in order to make that leap, we need something called inferential statistics. And to do that, we're going to need to have probability understanding. So inferential statistics is the ability to make that jump from the sample to the population. So in order to do that, we're going to have to spend several chapters talking about probability, which is an interesting subject in its own right. So chapter five, we're just going to talk about basic probability. But before I want to get into that, I want to discuss the background of probability. So humans have been fascinated with randomness and gambling for a very long time. Um, these dice were found at Scarra Bray in the United Kingdom, and they date from 3100 to 2400 BCE. These are Hellenistic dice from Hellenistic Egypt. We don't actually know what all the symbols stood for, as a matter of fact, um, but they date from 304 to 30 BC, because these are Greek um, symbols on the sides. So we know it was from Hellenistic Egypt. And this particular die was found in Pompeii. And it's particularly interesting because that little cap on the top um, was originally, well, it was more part of the surface, but having been through the volcano and the ashes and such, it burned away. It's a loaded die. There's actually a cavern in there for weight, so you could weight the die so you could win at dice games. It's a cheating die. And it dates from the 79 AD, of course, when Pompeii was destroyed. All right, we did not figure out the math of how all it all works, though. So we've been playing with dice well, from 3100 BCE, if not earlier. Um, actually, there are bone dice that predate this. So we've been playing with dice for a very long time, but we didn't understand the math of how dice work, the math of probability, um, until these three gentlemen in particular began thinking and working on publishing on the topic between the 16th and 17th centuries. That's Garolamo Cardano, Blaise Pascal, and Pierre de Fermat. So if you go to their Wikipedia pages, probability theory will weigh heavily in those Wikipedia pages because their work on probability theory was very groundbreaking and very original. All right, but where we began with um, Cardano in particular, he, he wanted to learn the gambling games, right? So all of them did. They wanted to know the math of gambling so they could win at gambling games. But what started out as gambling ideas is now much more far-reaching than that. And I literally had to, you know, narrow it down just to a few big things because it's just everywhere. Probability is everywhere. So it, I put up Facebook analytics, so you can actually go look at your own Facebook analytics, but um, Facebook, Google, all of your major tech companies are constantly analyzing you and figuring out the chances of you doing this, that, or the other online, right? All of that is done with probability theory. Atomic theory, uh, at its core, is working off of probability. That's the math that's involved with working with upper-level atomic theory. Um, fluid flow, so how waters and fluids and also electromagnetism, electricity also works this way, um, works like a fluid. And um, you're a friend of mine, that's COVID-19, but epidemiology is very heavy in probability theory. If we do this, the chances of this many um, people being infected is this and so on, right? That's very, very heavy in, in probability theory. So this is what we're going to be studying for chapters five through eight, probability. Um, it's the mathematical theory behind randomness and uncertainty. And we're doing it so that we can apply it to statistical inference. We want to be able to make that leap from a sample to a population or from a population back to a sample. We want to be able to make inferences. And we can't do that without understanding probability. We will get to do the statistical inference bit itself in chapters nine through 11. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to learn about probability and a little bit about gambling because that's the roots of the probability theories that were founded. So when we learn probability theory, we're learning the beginnings of gambling theory. All of which is to say, there's a reason we spend a few chapters in probability. It's an important field in its own right. Um, and you can see that when you think about casinos and lotteries and things like that. But then it's also a mathematical field that will help us do the things we need to do in statistics. So it has two-fold um, value for us.